This is a work of progress being made for my intro. A friend of mine is currently working on it and the full intro will soon be released. Now on today's topic at hand, which again involves your favorite YouTube feminist, Jenny McDermott, aka Feminist Joker. Now, why in the world would I even make more videos on Jenny McDermott? Why beat the dead horse? Well, it's because outside the fact that Jenny McDermott is a mere cash cow for entertainment, it's amazing that this woman is willing to throw her friends under the bus. That friend of her is Kevin Logan. Now, I don't like Kevin very much, but I will give credibility when it's due. He did in fact apologize to both Shoe on Head and Armor Skeptic. I will show you the clip. Um, I'd like to say I'm genuinely sorry to both uh, Shoe on Head and Armored Skeptic uh, for the way I've treated them in the past for my personal conduct toward them um, the way in which I've described them and their relationship in the past has been uh, less than gentlemanly let's put it that way um, and I really should have taken a different approach to things um, it wasn't my place to discuss their relationship and indeed it's no one's fucking place they're both free grown adults that can do what the fuck they want it's so keep in mind that the reason why Jenny is even making videos about Armored Skeptic in the first place is because she got her information from Kevin Logan without even doing an ounce of research. Now you think that even after Kevin Logan admitted that his research was wrong, you think that Jenny would drop the act. But no, she goes on trying to once again quote unquote expose Armored Skeptic and now she is trying once again to explain to her fans that Armored Skeptic is trying to silence her. You know, Jenny, it's very entertaining that you end up digging your own grave. Well, let's go down the rabbit hole once more. This is Jenny McDermott's video. I have voices in my head. They counsel me. They understand. Hi, guys. I hope you're enjoying all of my recent videos. Well, it gives me an excuse to make more videos on you. And, well, let's face the facts. You're part of the reason why I'm becoming more and more mainstream. And I have another update for you. I would like to start out by thanking Munster Cheese at Kiwi Farms who encouraged me to keep making videos on Armored Rapegate. Without your support, Munster Cheese, and the support of Mr. Bojangles Esquire and the Nameless One, I'm not sure I would have the courage to keep exposing the truth about Armored Skeptic. Even though you have no proof whatsoever. There is currently a lot of misinformation going around at the moment on why my main channel was terminated and the legal status of my videos. So Jenny McDermott decided to get an awesome idea in her head that she would break the law twice in one video. And here's the thing, Jenny, you're wondering why your current YouTube channel was flagged down. You're trying to claim that it was Armored Skeptic censoring you. No, you were fucking stupid. You broke both the law and the terms of service, so your channel went kaputz. Sorry to tell you, but you're not being censored. I'm not sure why Jenny would show a clip from some random YouTuber. I don't know this guy, but judging Jenny, she most likely pick him because he's a smaller channel, therefore it's easy to go after. Typical feminists can't handle the debate with big time YouTubers like Song of a Khan. Am I not good enough for you, Jenny? What happened between us? You used to notice me more. As you can see, there are idiots out there who think I've committed a crime. Well, you did dox Armor Skeptic and trying to ruin his reputation by claiming that he's a pedophile. And... You are still trying to do that right now. So I guess I could flag your video, but then you might get banned again. I'm not saying that I want Jenny to be on YouTube, but at this point, I'm just looking at a sad, pathetic woman that's just digging her own grave. When all I was doing was exercising my free speech. By doxing our skeptic because... Kevin Logan. Why my channel was terminated was not because I had violated YouTube's terms of service or defamed anyone. That just makes no fucking sense. I mean, it's just bullshit. But because the channel already had two strikes against it, and the third strike meant instant termination without appeal. The previous false flags to my channel had been done by Wooly Bumblebee because I had hurt her feelings when I suggested she stop beating her children. Which, again, you show no proof. Jenny, are you allergic to evidence? Do you need a doctor? I was in the process of appealing those false flags when Armored Skeptic submitted his false flag in an effort to censor me. Basically, Armored Skeptic abused the flagging system to silence the truth I was saying about him and succeeded thanks to Wooly Bumblebee's false flags. Yet, you flagged Grey Knight. 
And that's not false flagging. God damn it, Jenny. Your double standards can be seen from fucking space. However, my secondary channel, which is in good order, and didn't have any strikes against it from the social justice warriors like Wooly Bumblebee. I don't even get how the fuck you can get the idea that Wooly Bumblebee is a social justice warrior. I mean, are you really so ignorant of reality? There should be a term for you. Jenny McDermott is a pragmatophobe. She has a fear and hatred of reality, so she creates her own in order to exist in this planet without suffering in the hands of reality. Pragmatophobia should be a thing, and it should be synonymous with feminism. Shows that Armored Skeptic had in fact false flagged me. In my appeal, I said, This user's name and city where he lives has been posted online previously by him. He created a channel a year ago called Armored Media where he gave his full name in his channel trailer and has referred to his hometown several times in the comments and on Twitter. The area, yes, but the exact area, no. I am not revealing new information here. In response to my appeal, YouTube said the following. We have reviewed the complaint and have determined that the content is accepted from removal based on our privacy guidelines. The content does not violate our policies and will remain on the site. We thank you for using YouTube. So there you guys go. Everything I've said in my recent video about Armored Skeptic is true. I didn't breach YouTube guidelines or break the law. Let's just give you the benefit of the doubt and say that Armored Skeptic made his address known. You still have broken the law by making an accusation that he's a rapist without evidence. So you still need to go to jail. But keep digging that hole of yours. My account is in good standing. Armored Skeptic did try to silence me, and he is a sexual predator. The fact that he attempted to silence me and his supporters have rallied to his aid to help him spread lies about me only shows that he is a terrible person. Who's spreading the lies? The one who's defending himself and has proof or the one that's making claims without evidence. Hmm. Oh well, I'm sure your time will come, Jenny. I really hope it does. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.